Buckle up, adventurers, and prepare yourself for the ultimate week-long California coast road trip. We're starting in the Santa Monica Mountains just outside of Los Angeles, home of the majestic dancing egrets and famed bored bobcats, as well as the local beaches of Malibu. We focused our journey on the sweet spot of California's coast north of the constant LA to San Diego traffic jam and south of the soggy north coast, detouring around the stunning yet generally closed Big Sur Coastal Road. We limit our driving to less than five hours on any given day, stopping along four places that will make you consider quitting your day job and becoming a full-time beachcomber. First up, we zip along the coast to Santa Barbara, where we veer away from our coast over San Marcos Pass, which is basically California's way of saying, who needs guardrails? As we pass from our favorite lunch destinations, we finally stop at Los Alamos at a place called Plenty on Bell. Think farm fresh, served with a side of I might need a nap after this. We did just fine splitting the adult grilled cheese sandwich. Several scenic hours later, we roll up to the iconic lodge at Pebble Beach. Entrance. This is the least fancy part of the room, no doubt, but it does have a closet. Dining room. Living room. Kathy. Oh my God, it's amazing. Sorry? It, yeah, it'll do, you know, it'll do. Oh, small. <laughs> Bedroom. The washing up area. A single sink. I don't think I'm gonna have the priority. Oh, another sink. Okay, this will work. Oh yeah, and it's also got a little bit of a deck. But <laughs> we, should, we should have plenty of room here. The Lodge at Pebble Beach. We recommend it highly. There's a golf hole between us and the ocean, but uh, that's just the way it goes, I guess. Our suite overlooks the 18th hole, so we're basically the unofficial scorekeepers for every golfer who finishes up there. And what a sight it is, watching players, tourists, and even a troop of geese who seem to think they run the place. We also spot a lone deer who's strayed from the herd to eat in peace. The next day, after enjoying a delicious and eerily quickly delivered room service breakfast, we decide to take a quick half hour drive south to visit Bixby Creek Bridge. Bixby Creek Bridge, iconic on the California Big Sur coast. Now this bridge isn't just a bridge. It's a legend, an icon, and possibly one of the most desired selfie spots in California. We take in the view, which is somewhere between jaw-dropping and considered by many to be the northern gateway to the Big Sur. Knowing the road is closed further down, we head back to the lodge. Back at Pebble Beach, we hop on bikes and hit 17-mile drive, where we pedal past multi-million dollar homes that could moonlight as luxury bunkers. We visit the ghost pines of Pescadero Point and then on to the Lone Cypress, which is the logo for Pebble Beach. It's even stamped on their butter. As we pedal past the beach and iconic golf courses, we can feel the sea spray here, and the salty air gives us the sudden urge to invest in real estate we absolutely cannot afford. After working up an appetite, we head back to the lodge for sandwiches from the Pebble Beach Market. We take any excuse to eat on our room's patio. That evening, we dine at the Stillwater Bar and Grill, where the seafood is so fresh, it might still have a personal vendetta with the chef. Watching the sunset here is an event in itself. The next morning, we feel sad that our time at this magic place has come to an end, so we pack up our car to head north and continue the ultimate California coast road trip. We could easily have stayed here for the whole week because we never even went into Monterey or Carmel. If you have a favorite activity in this area, please leave it in the comments. Join us on our next video when we push north to some Michelin star dining in one of the most scenic places we've ever visited. Subscribe so you don't miss it. Thanks for watching.